Hello, my soccer universe. Poo, busy times, I have to say. I have a lot of hand at work, but yeah, that means another Jersey video for now. I am planning to do another Hall of Fame video this week and probably do some other things that take a little bit more time, but as for now, it gotta be something short, I hope. Things settle down as the week goes on. Um, I have been doing a lot of club jerseys and uh, as of late and I was actually thinking should I continue and finish all of them that I have and I said well I keep adding here and there and now I have this nice national team background. Let's do a national team jersey and let's continue with the African jerseys where I actually started uh, during the AFCON somewhat. Um, and then stopped after the AFCON because did, I didn't find the right moment anymore and I think it might be as good a moment as it should be. I'm wearing, actually for the first time on this channel, I think probably for the first time ever, this beautiful Morocco 2010 uh, jersey, which, yeah, um, the 2010 Africa range is one of my favorite jersey ranges uh, out there and I want to get as many as possible. And now I have also Morocco. I actually like the Moroccan crest, although if you look at the details, there's not too much on there, but there's something special about it. I also like the green, but that's for the Morocco video. We're gonna look now and starting off with a bang um, at what is my favorite jersey of 2019. And I have to say probably of the past three years from 17 to 19, you could make an argument that an African jersey has been the jersey of the year. I'm talking, of course, about this wonderful, wonderful Mali away jersey from 2019. I think it's currently worn as well. First of all, yeah, the eagle, we know the eagle is the, is the great part about it. Uh, just that design is just glorious. I mean, there's nothing, nothing bolder than that. What adds to the jersey for me is the fact that it is Ernest, which is a company. I saw actually that Nantes was having Ernest, I think, um, not too long ago. But that's a company that you didn't hear uh, very often. Um, then all the details on there, I mean, it, look, look at it, it's a very much, uh, another light is getting a little bit too much. Yeah, it's a very patterned jersey. Here you can see it very nicely. If I do the light right, all kinds of weird patterns in it. So it's not a pure white jersey, but it is actually a um, patterned, almost gray, if you like, jersey. I always felt that this shape looks a little bit like the country of Mali, but no, it's not. Another thing that I absolutely love about this jersey is that the crest here is golden. Um, and you see here actually the shape of the country here. That makes so much sense if you know a little bit of Mali. There was the Mali Kingdom, and if you don't know about the Mali Kingdom, there's a great, I love uh, the Extra History channel on YouTube, and there's about the Kingdom of Mali. Uh, I think they, one of the rulers there was the richest man in history. In history. He had so much gold that when he went to... Uh, on the Hajj and went to Cairo, he flooded, he bought so many things, he flooded the market with gold, that in the end it caused uh, the currency to crash. A single person caused that crash. He made up for that, but uh, it's just unbelievable how rich that guy was. And so, yeah, um, trying to remember his name now. Does, it doesn't remember. To this day, Mali is a major gold producer so it makes a whole lot of sense to have this in gold. Also look at how nicely the eagle is on there. It's kind of a sitting eagle on a ball. Absolutely everything to love about this. About this eagle design, I mean, does it get any bolder? I can't say. If you have watched my AFCON jersey reviews, you already know that my only gripe with this jersey, I mean, what I love is that all the colors are really coming out nicely. Uh, which is on the home jersey, which is yellow. The yellow here kind of, although it's there, it kind of vanishes. The only gripe is that the number on the front goes here. That oh, below here, it's way too low. I actually thought 
could you actually make here that the eagle holds a shield and you put a number in there but then um, it wouldn't be as nice if I ordered it that way because then you wouldn't need to get a number here. Another really really minor thing is do you see how the red here ends and then continues here this is kind of weird because then on the back it continues so um, I understand why they did it because if it would now go straight out here it also would not look all that good but on the other side you know go for it it's still minor things look at how well this eagle is done i mean you don't see that on a soccer jersey now uh there's also a pepper and foie right written in there you have the nice mali colors around the collar which i love look at the airness logo which gives it its own African touch. Ernest, by the way, is a French company, uh, but run by Malian, so that's pretty uh, remarkable as well. So it actually is fitting. This is a size XL, but it fits more like a tight L, I have to say, uh, definitely downsize. Um, if you look at the back of the jersey, as I showed you already, it's rather you get all the pattern here, and you have the little flag of Mali, which is basically the same as Guinea, except that Guinea has the uh um color switched the red and the green um there is no ventilation this is pretty simple jersey uh we have here the official product tag for it i mean there's nothing really fancy in it i think when i bought it i found it for six years on the airness store and if you go to my unpacking video there's the link there for they don't have it at the moment i also read that there was a version produced only in Africa where there actually was a little bling on there so little uh, fake crystals and so on which makes it even cooler uh, but I am so proud that I got this jersey you cannot believe that that's also part why I'm so uh, in love with this one because I, I, I remember I, I was lying in bed one night and I saw this and I, how can I get this I really want to have this one and then it came to me check for the official stores and I pull out all my French and I got this one. Uh, I'm so happy. This is an amazing jersey. I would love to have the yellow one too. Don't, don't, don't go wrong, but this one just looks so much better because the colors are so much more in your face. Let me know what you think about the jersey. I say it again, this is my favorite jersey of 2019 uh, and it's not even close. I think of all the great jerseys that were released in 2019, this is my favorite because it's just so spectacular, so African, and only an African nation can get away with this one. Anyway, drop me a line below, subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more videos like this, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I'm getting all messed up with the uh, ending as, as of late. And yeah, I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!